I'm here at AAD 2016 talking with Dion Malabi of the CSIR. CSIR is showing a light tactical vehicle demonstrator for the first time at the show. Dion, could you tell us a little bit about the vehicle and its history? Yes, certainly. Uh, the vehicle itself started out as a prototype that we developed for uh, airborne use for various customers. It also formed part of our test platforms that we use for testing new technologies like fire control systems, mortar systems. It's based on a G-Wagon drivetrain um, where we redesigned the whole upper body to accommodate various technologies and to be as modular as possible to give us the capability to upgrade it to test newer technologies on the platform. And the upper body on the vehicle, um, what, what's it made of? We used um, SSAB Docal 800. The, the, the Mark 1 version of the vehicle, we didn't feel that it was safe enough. Um, and the newer materials really gives us the capability to have, do a very lightweight structure which um, protects the occupants um, much better than, than, than previous materials at a very low weight. It, it's a very easy material to work with compared to specialised seals in the past. Uh, and presumably if, if the customer wished it could have uh, basic ballistic and underbody protection? Yes, the vehicle was designed to be fully modular. Um, we could do bolt-on armor, change the windows. Um, there's hard points all over the vehicle to mount different systems on. Um, weapon systems, we can fit doors to the vehicle. It, it all depends on what, what the requirement is. And the vehicle has shown, it's got a, a rocket launcher on the back. Is there anything specific or is that for any specific reason? Or is it just something that was available and, and just to demonstrate the capability of the platform? Yes, that specific system was the 107 multiple rocket launcher. Um, we fired that system from the vehicle in the past. We're looking at newer systems, but for now that is what we've got and it's a known to, for us so it's better testing the platform with a known weapon system just to lessen the variables when starting testing on the vehicle. And, and you said that that's a, a G-Class platform, um, it, is the concept fixed to G-Class or does the customer have options? No, it's the, the G-Class is one of the best platform substructures that we've used in the past but there's no limit to what can be used. It depends on what's available on the market in the customer's area of operation or we can do a full redesign and design our own axles and drivetrain for the vehicle.